Jessica, lovely to meet you. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. Pleasure. So for people who don't know anything about the fight, how do you summarise what this film's all about? Well, it's about a family. It's about a woman in a family who is sort of overcoming demons by getting in the boxing ring. So the sort of byline for me is everyone's fighting a battle. You know nothing about. And really, she's um, kind of an ordinary working mum of three and um, just feels like a kind of cycle of family dysfunction is starting to kind of close in and really affect her in her present. And she has to face some unavoidable um, sort of issues, I suppose, and accept them. And she really does that by getting in, in, in the boxing ring. And you've written it, directed it, starred in it. Yes. <laughs> and your first shot at directing. So what inspired you to tell this story for this piece? Um, I, there's a beautiful building which features in the film incredible red walls, it's an old boxing gym with a little boxing ring in the corner. And I attended um, a boxing night there, an all women boxing night, and I was just really struck by the building itself, how beautiful it was and how cinematic it was. And also, I just sort of looked around at all the women and I just thought, God, there's a story here, there must be a story, there's something, there's something felt that um, I just wanted to see if I could um, create a story and write a story about one of these women because I realised, you know, we were all there for different reasons and I just pondered why, what what had brought even one of these women to this boxing space where they could kind of punch a bag or kind of spar with other women, what, what was what was bringing them to discover their strength to fight really um, and I so I began to kind of percolate and create a story and then as that story developed it, it, it became about something I realised I was looking to explore which is that cycle of family dysfunction, how you break that cycle, how you address issues that affect you, even if they're from your past, past, past. And really that's what the film kind of became about. Um, yeah. And, you know, there are a lot of themes that come through in it, but and you've done so much comedy in your past, there's a lot of wit, maybe a bit of dark humour yes, <laughs> here and there. Yes, So, you know, but it's overall a more, or, uh, you know, drama topic, it's a more serious topic. It didn't what? start out like that, but it became that. What do you I was think? allowed to let it become that, which I'm grateful for. What do you want people to take away from it? Um, that they are strong, and that that you know that um, you know I want them to feel good. I want them to come out and feel like they're ready for battle, whatever that is, whether that's internal or external. That you know to not give up, and to 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 realise that that you know everyone is struggling somehow, and that actually, you know, if you do sort of push through somehow, you can. You can, you can, you can overcome even things that you feel like you'll never overcome. You can overcome. And you've got a fantastic car set. It looks like you had a lot of fun making the film. Yeah. And you know, what was your experience of, of of making it and being on both sides of the camera? I really loved it. I mean, the thing is, I think I realised, you know, ever since childhood, I, I I'm an intense player. You know, I really like to go deep in character, whether that's playing in the playground age seven or whether that's being an adult and doing my job I and actually I found directing most intense fun most intense you know you're from the beginning of the day to the end of the day you don't stop you're just you know submerged in everything that's happening moment to moment and I thrive on that environment I'm absolutely in my element in that environment um, I'm, I'm not really a multitasker in the traditional sense of the word I like to do one thing intensively that's really my nature and we were just downstairs talking about, you know, having more diversity in filmmaking, yeah. the stories that are on the screen. Yeah. You've got a really diverse cast, obviously a lot of female um, people in your team. So yeah. do you think times are changing and do you think that was something that was important for you to achieve with your film? Yes, I do think times are changing. I mean, I think we are experiencing a backlash. We were just, I was just on a panel and we were just discussing that. And, and, I, and I said I, I felt that actually what's going on at the moment um, is as a result of this feeling that if, you, if you've lived in a society that is unequal in your favour, then equality will feel like oppression. And I think that's what's happening at the moment. And I think, you know, people are exploiting that sense of victimhood where it's really, really, there's no place for it. Um, but I think that's a phase and I think that will pass. It's like the dying of the dinosaur. You know, just because they fight back, it doesn't mean they're dying and they're dying. So, you know, we're winning. <laughs> uh, on that note, um, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much yeah. for your time and congratulations okay. on a brilliant film. Pleasure. <laughs>